What up y'all and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. So all good things must come to an end. For the past three weeks we have been celebrating the Mediterranean diet and putting together different diet plans for that. So the first week we did an hour long 2000 calorie meal plan. The second week we did a Mediterranean inspired meal plan. And week three we did a 15 minute timed meal plan. I hope that y'all have been enjoying the series. Today we are doing our final video for this month of meal prep. So that way you can start off this year, whatever year you're watching this video in on a really strong foot. I always think it's important to start out the year talking about meal prep because it talks about ways to organize your eating habits. So whatever eating style or diet you prescribe to, I want you to know that there is one thing that's super important and that's being prepared. And when you're prepared, you lessen the risk of going off track and eating things that don't push you closer to your wellness goals. So with that in mind, these are some of my go-tos that I enjoy whenever I need something savory, something spicy, and just something this darn easy and delicious. This is a very easy meal plan that you can add in swaps along the way. Some things you may have seen before or made before, and perhaps some other things are brand new. But whatever, I want you to approach this meal plan with an open mind. All right, Jesse, you ready? So ready. All right, man, let's get to it. So for meal one for breakfast, we are making an overnight oats with some fresh blueberries, with some ricotta, and some eggs. So the first thing, gotta prep your overnight oats. Now you gotta do this the day before. Gonna add in some oatmeal, perfect. Pour in some almond milk. I like to add in a little bit of vanilla extract. Some chia, these are packed with omega-3 fatty acids. Nice calorie boost. Give this a stir. If you wanna add in some sugar here, you can. You're gonna pop the lid, place this in the fridge overnight, and your breakfast will be ready. Grab this one from the fridge, and here is what it looks like once it's fully overnight cooked. Boom, see the beautiful speckles of the chia seed mixed through there. All right, now we're gonna to top this off with a little bit of personality. I'm gonna add some ricotta. You can take some nutmeg or some cinnamon, add that on top as well, and then get yourself some berries. I love to add blueberries and some blackberries. A little bit of crunch. We don't need much for this because we already have the chia seeds. Oh, just beautiful. And then lastly, just hit it with a little bit of maple syrup. Watch the drizzle, watch the drizzle. And our overnight oats are complete. And then we're gonna round out our breakfast with some boiled eggs. I'm gonna have two. If you wanna eat more, great. If you wanna eat less, great. As Tabitha Brown says, that's your business. Here's a quick pro tip for all you protein warriors out there. Instead of just mixing in straight almond milk, Mix up your almond milk with your favorite lean protein powder, mix that together, and then pour that into your oats, and all of a sudden, you got overnight proats. You get it, because overnight protein oat pro. You'll get it later, but just try it out. You'll like it. So for meal two, snack number one, for a mid-morning snack, we're gonna have some freshly chopped watermelon with some prosciutto and mozzarella. So you're gonna take your watermelon, we're gonna slice this up into some chunks, and I love adding watermelon to my diet. This is one of my weekly buys. Slide these right on out. We're gonna take our watermelon, just chop it into chunks, add those to our meal prep container. First, you're gonna grab yourself some string cheese. If your mama put string cheese or your parents put, put in some string cheese, you're like, oh man, they actually care about you, huh? Love me some string cheese. Then you're gonna buy yourself some prosciutto. If you aren't a fan of prosciutto, you can also use some turkey and then just bite it off whenever you want. You're not gonna peel it the same way that you would string cheese. Add it to your milk prep container and don't worry about the watermelon juice getting on it because that sweetness, whew, all those flavors actually go, they pair very well together, trust. And here is our snack one. Okay, who am I kidding? You know I don't eat just one. I tried to kid myself with the camera, make it seem, well you know, I just, I just eat just one, I'm fine. No, I'm gonna have two. Don't act like y'all don't have two either. So for a meal three for our lunch, we're gonna have a delicious chicken swarmer pita sandwich. One of my favorites. So first thing, we're gonna make our seasoning mix. And this mix is going to be a little bit more Middle Eastern inspired. So we're gonna add in a little bit of turmeric, some cumin, some smoked paprika. Put just a hint of cinnamon. There we go, that's enough. Some coriander. 
And I like to use a little bit of allspice. Pinch of sea salt, some black pepper. Give this a stir. Okay, now let's prep the chicken. So I've got some chicken thighs here. You could either cook the chicken thighs whole or you can slice them up into small pieces. I think for meal prep purposes, for sandwiches, if you slice them up ahead of time, it's just gonna save you some more time and it's much easier to portion out as well. We're gonna trim off any big pieces of the visible fat, slice it into thin pieces like this. Drizzle in just a little bit of olive oil and then stir in our seasoning mixture. That oil really helps in seasoning the chicken. So now with our chicken well mixed, let's prep the onion. And we're gonna slice our onion into large chunks. Grab a skillet. I'm gonna be using a cast iron skillet, but you can use a nonstick skillet if you'd like. Once that skillet's nice and hot, we're gonna add in some olive oil. And we're gonna mix everything together. We're gonna add in our onions. At the same time, we add in the chicken. And everything gets cooked together. As it cooks up, we're gonna sprinkle in another pinch of sea salt and some black pepper. And we're also gonna add in a little bit of lemon zest, making sure that chicken is cooked all the way through. It take us about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. Easier to divvy out and faster to cook. Now let's build our pita. Start out with your double layer of pita. Stack, stack. Add in a little bit of tahini, or if you want, you can use some Greek yogurt, and some fresh, pungent arugula, tomato, crispy cucumber, and then the chicken shawarma. Add it to your meal prep container, and then pair this with your favorite fruit. I love a Texas ruby red grapefruit. So for meal four, snack number two for that afternoon sweet craving that kicks in right about 3 p.m., got my all-time favorite, some cottage cheese, a little bit of cinnamon, and my go-to pineapple. Take some cottage cheese. This is some solid protein. Then add in some diced pineapple. If you have a sweet craving as big as mine, then cinnamon needs to be your best friend as well. And voila, here is our mid-afternoon snack. For meal five, the last meal of the day, we are making a Spanish-inspired shrimp and chorizo, almost like a bootleg paella. We're gonna mince up some fresh garlic, slice up an onion, you can grab yourself a red bell pepper. We're gonna dice this up as well. And the last thing here is to get our Spanish chorizo. I like to just slice mine down the middle and then just chop this into pieces. Fire up a pot, drizzle in a little bit of olive oil, we don't need too much because we're also gonna use a lot of the fat from the chorizo. In go all of our freshly chopped veggies, as well as the chorizo. We're gonna cook this down for a few minutes, get some good sweat going in there. Now, once there's a little less sizzle and there's much more of a calmness to the pot and the onions start to wilt a lot more. They start to look crystallized and caramelized almost. Now, this is just the way you want it. Now we're gonna pour in some brown rice. We're gonna add in some turmeric. Gonna add in my old pal smoked paprika. Add in now some dried herbs. We've got some oregano. And we've also got a little bit of rosemary. And we also got in some fit cook sea blend. Now you wanna stir everything together. And we wanna make sure that every grain of rice is covered in oil and also covered in the seasoning. Now we're gonna take some canned whole tomatoes, some plum tomatoes if you have them, and you're gonna use the back of your spatula just to mash them down to explode the tomatoes. All right, next we're gonna pour in our stock. Now I'm gonna be using some seafood stock because we're gonna add in shrimp last. Top this off with some sea salt and some black pepper. Bring this to a light simmer. Then we're gonna cover and cook this for about 10 minutes. Let some of that liquid become absorbed. And then we're gonna add in the shrimp and then cook up the rice all the way through. All right, and after about 10 minutes, pop the top. As you can see, a lot of the liquid has already evaporated. In goes our shrimp. Put it right there on top and let the steam cook the shrimp through. And pop that top and cook for the remaining time. And after about 10 more minutes, 
Yeah. See that the shrimp is cooked through, and we also see our rice is looking really, really right. We're gonna pour in some frozen peas. If you want an even larger boost of protein, you can swap the peas for some edamame. There we go. We're gonna garnish this with some fresh parsley. We're gonna fold this into the dish as well. Oh my goodness. Who wouldn't want to enjoy this? We're gonna pair this shrimp and chorizo rice dish with an arugula salad using leftover arugula from our pita. So we're gonna add in a little bit of Dijon mustard here, some olive oil, squeeze in some lemon, sea salt, pepper. Mix this up really well. Add in some fresh arugula, and then just do a light drizzle. Beautiful. Follow the scoop. You're gonna add it to your dinner meal prep container. That's right. You could even add it there so that way everything is already portioned out for you. Here you go. Dinner is served. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's video. First off, thank y'all so much if you've been joining us for the past four weeks for this month of meal prep, celebrating the Mediterranean diet. Today we just wrapped it up with some of my all-time favorites within the Mediterranean diet. There are others, but I just feel like these are some of my go-tos when I just need something a little bit more savory and delicious. Hope that y'all like this meal plan as much as I like it too. If you have liked this video and enjoyed this series, then I want you to smash that like button below. And remember, you can go to fitmancook.com right now to download every one of the meal plans. So think about it. If you can teach yourself how to cook and just do some of these recipes and make swaps along the way, changing up the flavor profile, then I tell you what, then you can eat for your entire life and have tons of variety. And that's what I mean about this being an amazing journey. All right, y'all, until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthy. But of course, what? You know it, never ever boring. Boom! Bye, peeps.